Coming up in this video, I've got a very, very quick rundown of my top five spiced rums to mix with Coca-Cola. Uh, these are the spiced rums that I've featured so far to date, tail end of 2019. Uh, so if you wanna know what my top five favorite spiced rum and Cokes are, stay tuned. Hey Spiced Rum fans, my name is Steve the Barman and I'm hoping these videos will help you drink, serve and enjoy better quality spiced rum. As always, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what your favourite spiced rum and Coke is. I want to know what your favourite is. Let me know in the comments below. If you want me to feature any certain spiced rums in the future in 2020, again, drop me a note in the comments below. I want to hear from you, uh, so get commenting. And if you want to chat and share stories with other spiced rum fans, there is now a spiced rum club on Facebook. It's not my my group uh, but I've kind of joined it's really cool it's, it's growing uh, slowly now a few hundred members uh, so go into Facebook search the spiced rum club you'll find it quite easily there or if you want the short link it'll pop up on screen now but stblive.uk forward slash spiced rum club come and join the fun right then this video as I've said is my favorite spiced rum and cokes uh, this is prompted by quite a few uh, questions in the comments now on various different videos that I've rocked out. Uh, but Steve, what is your favourite spiced rum and coke? So I thought as we're coming up to Christmas, uh, this is kind of the review, the end of the year. I've done 33 uh, spiced rum reviews now since uh, June. It's kind of when this channel flipped over from gin uh, to spiced rum, which is my out and out love. It's what I, it's what I love to drink. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of the roundup series. Now I've done all of these spiced rums with Coca-Cola uh, Zero. I just thought that was fair. Now just missing out on the top five purely and utterly by price alone is World's End Tiki. Uh, spiced rum. It's an absolutely phenomenal spiced rum. Really, really love it. However, uh, for me, uh, if you're going to have a spiced rum with coke or anything like that, um, this is nearly £35 a bottle. Very expensive in that great scheme of things. So um, while it's absolutely phenomenal, I don't class it any better than the top five that I'm going to uh, gonna, I'm going to show you in a second that come in way below the thirty pound mark. So that is lovely. If money is no object to you, that is absolutely amazing. But for me, just missed out on top five. Right then, in fifth place, good old favourite. This one that is just. Everyone loves this. This is red leg, it's their normal red leg, so vanilla and ginger, kind of the drier end of the spiced rums, not cloyingly sweet, uh, just absolutely lovely. Comes in under £20 a bottle, can get it online, but most supermarkets will stock this now, and if they don't, they certainly will do January, February next year when spiced rum grows even further. So that's my, that's my fifth place. This is red leg, uh, again, less than 20 pounds a bottle now in fourth place um this uh, i've got a lot of love for this one again cheap as chips this is dead man's fingers i've got a lot of love for it a bit biased because i'm cornish this is cornish brand it's been around quite a long time now in the grand scheme of things now owned by Halewoods. you will pick this up at less than 19 pounds i think even cheaper at the moment a, super, a lot of supermarkets haven't taken this on yet which i find quite bizarre but it's definitely on uh, a cardo it's definitely in asda and you can also get it online for less than 19 pounds dead man's fingers uh, a little bit sweeter than red leg it's kind of got the uh, sort of traditional spices the vanilla bits of cinnamon lime in there but it's a spiced rum and coke for less than 20 pounds you cannot go wrong with that so that is my fourth placed uh, spiced rum right then in third place let's get right to it cut to the spice this is absolutely amazing slightly more expensive than these two you will get it about uh, 23 24 pounds 
uh, may have to order this online still at the moment. I haven't seen this in uh, too many supermarkets. It, well, I say too many, I haven't seen it in any supermarkets yet. Uh, if you have, let me know in the comments below of what supermarkets people can get it from. But absolutely love this, the whole cut to thing. And again, with all these, I'll drop links uh, just in that corner. I think it's that corner. Um, I'm in the mirror, so I can't. So that corner, that corner, whatever. I'll drop links above of where you can find the review of this. And um, basically the whole cut to, they're just cutting away all the bullshit, as I said in the previous video, uh, spin it around. You don't need to know it's Madagascan vanilla or anything like that. It's just vanilla, same with uh, nutmeg and clove. But this, as a rum and coke, just absolutely lovely. This also does come in at less than 40% uh, ABV, same as those actually. Uh, all three of these so far are 37.5% ABV, which still legally makes them a spiced rum. Uh, no 35, but was 37, anything below 37.5% is uh, legally a spirit based drink or cure, whatever you want to call them. But these are proper out and out spiced rums. So this is my third place. This is cut to. Absolutely lovely. Right, my second placed uh, spiced rum for spiced rum and coke. Uh, and this actually featured in the previous video, one of my favorite neat, neat sipping rums as well. This, Chairman's Reserve. Again, I just, I, it's a 40 percenter. Absolutely love it, sort of vanilla, uh, nutmeg, cinnamon, bit of clove in there, bit of orange as well. It just works so well. And because it, I would actually say it's a lot, um, yeah, it is. It's a lot drier than notes. It hasn't got that little, those sweetness that you kind of expect. It just works very, very well as a spiced rum and Coke. Uh, very close to winning. Uh, I'll show you my favorite one in a minute, but you know, St. Lucian rum, distilled in St. Lucia, spiced in St. Lucia. Uh, it's not a UK, so there's no uh, sort of flavor compounds or anything uh, done added to in the UK. Shipped over from St. Lucia, absolutely lovely. Uh, slightly more expensive, I think about 24 pounds a bottle. Uh, go and check it out online. Links in the show notes below of where you can get this from. But that is Chairman's Reserve and that is my second place to spiced rum and coke. So then my favourite, my number one pick. What do you think it is? 33 uh, spiced rums that I've done so far. Which do you think it's going to be? Which one? What do you reckon? Okay, I'll put you out of your misery. I absolutely love this. And this is my third or fourth bottle now of this. So I'm going to show you. Absolutely love it. Uh, this is Rockstar Spirits. It's the same people as your pineapple grenade, as your grapefruit grenade. Uh, this is uh, Captain Webb's uh, Two Swallows Spiced Rum. Absolutely love this. Um, for me, just hands down better than anything else I've tried. Slightly different flavor profile as well. We've got salted caramel, we've got candied citrus fruits in there. It's not overly sweet at all. I just think it, it's got a lovely bit of spice in there. I just think it just works so well as a rum and coke. So that is my number one pick, but I promise you, you're not gonna be disappointed with any of those five. It's just that I think that that is my favorite out of the 33 that I've done so far. So what do you reckon? Uh, do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments below. What is your favorite spiced rum and coke? Um, is it actually something I've not even covered yet in the previous 33 videos? Let me know. So that is my top five spiced rum and cokes. Uh, coming up in the next video, it's gonna be my favorite spiced rums to go with uh, my top seven mixers. Uh, that are not coke so if you want to see that stay tuned uh, if you're watching this as this gets published it will be live in a few days time i've been steve the barman i'll catch you really soon